excuse my appearance but i wanted to record this video really quickly before i pack my bag because i am scheduled to have my bbl procedure april 8th and today is april 6th my flight is tomorrow april 7th and my pre-op appointment is tomorrow at 10 a.m so before i get everything packed away i just wanted to share the things that i packed with you guys I did not get this list from anyone else on YouTube. My surgical clinic actually provided me a list of items that they suggested that I should bring along with me. So I just followed the list that they gave me because I did watch a few videos um, a couple of years ago with ladies packing for BBLs and I just think they packed entirely way too much. I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. Only pack the items that I need because on the way back, I did not want to have a big bag to look around. I also do not want to check a bag. I'm trying to save some money because that surgery is not cheap, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I have. So right here in this little Ziploc bag, I have four washcloths. These washcloths was for my face. I don't know what the recovery house. Um, I am staying at a recovery house, but I don't know if they provide new washcloths or used washcloths. And for my face, I need my own white washcloths. And even at home, I change white washcloths daily. So I just figured I'd bring my own. I also have my toothbrush in here. I have some stool softener here. Tylenol, gonna need that Tylenol. I have my toothpaste, my Sensodyne. I have my Benadryl itching cream. I heard this is good for after light bulbs to help with the itching because your skin will be a little irritated and itchy. I have my deodorant here, of course, because who travels without deodorant? I also have my Dow antibacterial soap. I did order a 12 pack of this off of Amazon, but I only packed two. I think I'm gonna throw a third one in. Um, because I like to be extra clean and extra fresh. So why not? I don't know how much I'm going to go through. I am going to be coming back home April 14th. So not too long, but I'd rather have more than less, if you know what I mean. I went ahead and changed my shirt because that other one was given raggedy. But I did want to show you guys what I had in this bag here. Okay. So this has some Clorox sanitizing wipes to wipe down everything on the plane because we're not trying to catch Corona. We're trying to go get surgery, okay? I also have some CBD drops, which I heard is supposed to be excellent, excellent, excellent after you have surgery, help with the pain. I have my face brush, again, skincare, very important. Don't want to be walking around looking crusty before, after, or during surgery. Okay, I have some lovely hand sanitizer here. Again, we ain't trying to catch that virus. We're trying to run away from it. I have a long phone charger. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Just in case I'm laying across the bed at the other end, or my phone needs to be plugged up somewhere far. You never know. Always got to be prepared. I need my phone on me at all times. I have some liquid IV. This is to help with my hydration before and after surgery. I'm also drinking this right here, Body Armor. This is electrolytes as well, just to get ready. You know, just to get ready. Um, this is my head scarf, of course. Gotta travel with the head scarf, ladies. Even though my braids are a few weeks old, still, I might not want them in my face. Might want to tie them back. Here's all my skincare. Again, no crusty skin. I also packed some bio oil if you know you know i have the large bio oil but it's large so i put shrunk it down it should last me until i'll come home my return flight is on april 14th so that should be just fine to help with the um scarring here i have my vitamins my one a day i have my vitamin c and i also have my folic acid gummies these are the these are the gummies that my clinic suggested that I take in order to prep for surgery. I haven't discontinued them and I continue to take them during my healing process and everything. Of course, one a day, one a day. That's a normal multivitamin for uh, women. And then vitamin C, I just find has been really good with um, 
my energy levels and everything like that so i will continue to take these after surgery and my folic acid once these are done these are just be done so that's what's in there and now i am going to show you guys what is in my box and then we are going to get all packed and you guys didn't know i'm not sure if i mentioned it uh i probably mentioned it in my last video in my last in my last video you guys uh watch me get ready in preparation going through all my labs and everything like that for surgery so here i just have some sports bras because after surgery i do not want a wire underneath my breast so i packed about three sports bras i have a cami i have a few cami tops as well just to go under my faja because i heard that sometimes the faja can leave um impressions on your on your stomach because your stomach is going to be so soft after the light bulb and it's going to be easy to mold so it's ever on it so i did pack a few camis i packed a few onesies as well going to use this coming home with a pair of sweatpants so i just packed two just in case i didn't want to not have regular clothes out there you just never know so I packed two, one is green, one is blue. That's that. I have my infamous, infamous BBL pillow. I did go ahead and purchase this pillow off of Amazon. I will link it down in the description below. Going in the bag, can't leave home without that, okay? I have that. I also have here a on-to-go, um, on, a on-go COVID test. I took one, two came in this box. I got this from Walgreens, two came in a box. I took one now just to make sure I was Gucci. And then I will be taking another one before I come home because you just don't know, okay? You just don't know. I also have some compression socks. I did go ahead and order these off of Amazon as well. These are a size small and, and medium and full pairs come in here. So you're gonna need your compression socks. I believe my clinic gives me compression socks, but I just like to have my own everything. Who doesn't? Right here, I have some dupe wipes because I know it's going to be hard to wipe my dupe. So I have some dupe wipes here. I actually have, I ordered these off of Amazon as well. I will link those down below. I'm just going to throw these in here. I'm going to need those on the plane to wash my boo boo. I have an app board here that I did go ahead again and purchase off of Amazon. I will link everything down below that I can find so you guys can go ahead and make the purchase as well. So I have this ad board here. It feels okay, but I mean, it was only a few dollars off of Amazon. And if I need more, I need more and then I will order more. These are the sweatpants that I said I will be wearing to travel home in with one of my onesies. This is also just another, this is a a one piece, a black one piece, no sleeveless. And then it comes down to about my knees. I had this for years now. I actually got this from Forever 21 when Forever 21 first was. No, I'm lying. I got this from Fashion Nova. I got this from Fashion Nova when Fashion Nova first came out. And I had this thing for years, for years, for years. And I was going through my tote and I seen it and I said, ooh, I'm going to take that with me. So I just took it. I'm just going to take it. You just don't know. You just never know. You know, I just got to be prepared for every occasion. So I brought a few of my furry slipper socks because I feel the most comfortable when I'm in my furry slipper socks. So I brought a few pairs of those as well to wear around the recovery house. Right there. And... I have the infamous PP, the PP Wee Wee. I got that. Okay. Also got that off of Amazon. I will go ahead and link that down below as well. And I think my whole came out. Uh, it comes with this. I guess this is supposed to be my penis. And it attaches at the bottom. And then. I go number one. That. I have some nightgowns. I've got this in a few colors. This is a size extra large. 
I probably didn't need an extra large, but I didn't want anything to be hugging my body too much. I just want to be nice and comfortable. I know I'm already going to have the Faha on. And if you are from Jersey, I'm not sure where else they have Foreman Mills at, but I did go ahead and purchase this from my local Foreman Mills. Nice and cheap. Don't need to do too much. I went ahead and purchased two robes as well. So I have this robe that I plan on wearing to surgery. And when I come out of surgery, I have this. And like I said, I have two colors. So I have this one and I also have this pink one here. It's the same style, just um, different colors. I have these pants. This also came for Foreman Mills. It came with a gray pair as well. Okay. Came as a two set, came with this pair and a gray pair again. You just never know. I might want to put on some pants one day. So here's the gray pair here. And the rest of my gowns in different colors. So I have three more. And I also have some maxi pads for obvious reasons. And my bed sheets. My recovery house are providing bed sheets. Again, I just like to have my own things. I like to be extra overly prepared. They're also going to provide me with diapers just in case I need them. And I'm super duper excited. That is all I packed. I know it's simple, simple, minimalistic compared to any other videos that you have watched here on YouTube. But that's the whole point. If you're going by yourself, especially, you don't want to be lugging a bag around the airport. Make this you don't need much okay you're going for surgery you get cute once you come home and get healed but right now you're just going for surgery you pack you some nice comfortable clothing you want to make sure you are comfortable i'm going to be wearing my slippers when i come out of surgery as well and this is all i have so if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you are going to have any type of surgical procedure and you're worrying about what everybody else is thinking or worrying about what everyone else is going to say don't I heard so many things. Oh, girl, you don't need that. What you doing that for? Why would you waste your money on that? Nobody is in your skin but you. You are the one that wakes up in your skin every day. You are the one who have to deal with your, your insecurities. And my main insecurity is my mid area. I did have two children very young. And I did have cesareans for both of my children. So my body just hasn't been the same ever since. Getting this BBL is something that is long overdue. I was supposed to do this about three years ago, then two years ago, and then one year ago. And now I finally just went ahead and did it because it just don't matter what nobody else said. I want to be the most, I want to be comfortable for myself. That's just all that really matters. And I've lost, um, it's funny because I, I'm actively dating right now and you know, I talk to a few guys and I tell them about my surgery and it's like, oh, da 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 da. But then they stop talking to me. It's like, I don't know if it's because I am already look good. We already know that. But it's just like the body is going to be an extra oomph and they can't handle it. I don't know. It's giving real, real, and real weird energy. But no matter what, I'm going to do what I want to do for myself. And I will find a husband along the way, wherever he come. Right now, I'm just building my foundation. And right now, this is I take care of me, and this is what's going to make me happy. So if you're thinking about doing surgery, you're thinking about doing anything to yourself, if you can afford it, and if you don't give a damn what nobody got to say, go do it. Comment down below if you are going to have surgery. Tell me all about it. If you guys have any questions, leave those down below too. I can't wait to follow you on your journey, and thank you for being here on mine. I look forward to seeing you guys all again. Make sure you stay healthy. Bye. It's time to go have surgery.